Hi, I'm Musar, and I'm going to be introducing you to the Kill Hearts 2.0 update that just dropped today. The UI has been given a graphical update to make the three hosts, Phase Plant, Snap Heap, and Multipass, more uniform in appearance. Most of the modulators and some of the effects also have updated UIs. Modulators now have dedicated triggering sections, allowing you to re-trigger with a click or another modulator, with a predefined or automated response to note on-off messages and overlapping, aka legato notes, or to be set completely free-running. When adding new modules in any lane with Within the hosts, you no longer need a modifier key to insert between other modules. Just hover and click. Modulations now show a dashed line between source and destination. You can now see both depth of modulation and the specific ranges that the modulation goes through, and you can now scale the curve of the modulation per destination. Certain modulation destinations now have intelligent mapping based on the polarity of the modulation source. Macros now have the same polarity options as modulators, and if you run out of macros, you can just right click on the parameter you want to automate and assign it to one of 64 new automations slots. Snap Heap and Multipass now have global mix knobs, allowing you to scale the dry wet balance of the entire effect from one place. New modulators include LFO table, curve, extended pitch wheel control, note gate, MIDI CC, remap, and sample and hold. MPE support has also been added. Other modulators have been updated, including the envelope, LFO, Velocity, and the Max, Min, and Multiply modulators, which have now been renamed as Lower Limit, Upper Limit, and Scale, respectively. Any modulator with a time parameter can now be set to 0 Hz, or as fast as 100 Hz. The Audio Follower and Pitch Tracker modulators from Snap Heap and Multipass are now available in all hosts. The Curve modulator is now available as an alternative to the Envelope modulator for generator outputs. You can now create groups for effects and modulators. Finally, the Distortion Snap-In now has a toggle for the built-in DC filter. So what are your thoughts? Is there something in the update you're most excited about? What do you plan to do now that 2.0 is out? Leave a comment below and I'll pin the one I think sounds most exciting. Thanks so much for watching and a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters. If you want to join them on this list, get sneak previews of my upcoming YouTube videos and tutorials that can't or won't go on YouTube, get access to my subscriber-only sample packs, or just want to support the channel, you can find a link in the description below. If you found this video useful or entertaining, please drop a like on the video. Consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the bell to get notified when I upload new videos. Click on one of the videos you see popping up now to watch something else I've made. Thanks again and have a great day.